All right guys, today we're at a park and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt to take our Christmas card photos by myself. So, especially with the baby, it's a little hard, but you'll see how it works. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. We'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna try this spot right here. We got a little bit of nice light in the background coming through the trees, but it's nice and shady, so be able to manipulate a little bit. All right, so what I'm doing is I have my Canon Camera Connect app. It operates uh, over Bluetooth. I can just basically use it as a remote. Time out. Okay, there's a couple of things before we get into the rest of the video. First thing is this, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps the video out a lot. Uh, it gets it in front of more people, which supports the channel. So if you like the video, then make sure you hit the like button. Second thing, you might notice that I have a new setup for these videos. I definitely like the natural light feel that I used to have, but I, we lost my backdrop that I used to use for the videos. As you can see, we separated the shelves. So this is what it's gonna be for a little while. Let me know if you like it or not in the comments. I know I got my uh, YouTuber studio lights going, but it actually helps me out because now I can record these at night rather than always during the day. Now what I wanna do in this video is I wanna give you guys some commentary because during the time of filming this, we got to the park late and uh, that meant the sun was going down and we were kind of fighting against the clock to get these shots in. So I kind of went into get things done mode and what happens when I do that is that I stop talking to the camera. So I wanted to give you guys some thoughts and some things that I would probably improve or do differently for next time. I'll probably show you some before and after so you can see how I edit. Um, I might do a separate video on the actual process of editing them. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Smile. Right there, don't move. Baby. <laughs> Turn towards me a little bit, your, your side is all funny. So right here what I'm doing is I'm checking the focus and I'm making sure so where Aaron and the baby are standing is in focus and then I ask her not to move and I switch it into manual focus because I don't really want this thing hunting while I'm pressing the remote shutter. If I press the remote shutter and it, it accidentally changes focus to something else on the screen, then we'll have a problem later on, especially if it's a good shot and the background's in focus rather than us. Oh, we can move. We can move and then come back. We were at a park that had a frisbee golf course, so we had to pause for a second. They were very nice. Can you see the camera? Can you tap the back of it? Look. Hi. We're gonna take one more in this location and we're gonna turn. So what I'm doing right here is I'm using my remote shutter, the Bluetooth Camera Connect app, and I'm just pressing the button over and over again. Uh, most newer cameras have a intervalometer setting. So what you can do is you can just set it to take 10 pictures in a row once you hit it, the shutter button once. So then I could just press it and then it would just take a bunch of pictures. That would have been easier, but I didn't set that beforehand because I was kind of in a rush. So that was the day and we had a lot of fun doing it and I think that the pictures that I did get, those ones came out great and I like those a lot. We both really like them. Actually, there was a lot of pictures that I think that I missed. For some reason, when I put my camera on my tripod, I always put my two second timer on. It's just like a habit. I left that on and I didn't need to. I could have just pressed the button because I was hiding the remote in the photos. I could have just kept clicking away and it would have been fine. But that was a mistake that I made. You learn from them, so I won't do that ever again. 
hopefully. Another thing was that we had the baby and it was really hard for me to get that right shot and the right timing on the shot when I couldn't see the screen. Now the Canon Camera Connect app does have a function where you can see what's on your screen, but it lags so far behind and it's really hard to use. They really need to fix that app up. It's not good. I don't suggest using it. So these are for our Christmas card, but we talked about redoing them just because um, all those things I mentioned, I think I want to try one more time. Also, I did end up getting a haircut like the day after we took these photos. I was like, man, why didn't I wait till I got a haircut to try this? But, uh, you know, we had time, so we did it. If we do that, I probably won't make a video, but you'll definitely see the photos on Instagram. You can follow me out there and take a look at my stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Now go out there and make something good.